Now, um, welcome to my first shot at uh, an instruction video. Hope you like it. Uh, this will tell you how to download your TV shows in HD, 5-1 surround sound, automatically. So you don't have to go looking for them. Uh, you don't have to forget about them. Uh, all you do is set this once and forevermore it will download. Even when it takes a break or goes on to another season and doesn't go back till next September, it'll automatically start downloading again for you. So um, first of all, you have to uh, download BitTorrent. Now, if you download BitTorrent um, already, you know what it's like, you know what to use it for. But for people that don't, or people don't know how to use it with um, show RSS, this is what you do. Now basically press options. And then preferences. And then you pick directories. Now this is what I do, I this is an ace and I download to a downloads folder. And then I have another folder for each TV show. So if you have 20 TV shows, name them. Just name them The Flash, Supergirl, whatever the name of the show is. And then use a separate download folder. That way you can just organize them very, very simply by uh, by dragging the actual file over to each folder afterwards. It takes two seconds and it'll, it'll come up nice because afterwards I'll be showing you how to use Plex to integrate into this program so it'll look fabulous on your TV at home. And then uh, b bandwidth, um, unlimited bandwidth is zero, uh, which is, I have set for download and then upload. Uh, you can uh, throttle it to whatever you like. And then once you have that done, we'll zero it down. And then you open up um, a web page. And uh, it's uh, you can Google it. It's uh, show RSS, which I have here, show RSS. Now, this is my uh, shows. Um, as you can see, there's a lot of them. But these are the last few that um, downloaded last night um, and all last week. And click on my schedule, and it shows you what was done last night, what's up, going to download tomorrow, and so on for the rest of the week. Now, basically, uh, once you open show RSS, it'll ask you for a username and password. That's all. No money. They won't bombard you with details of anything or offers. That's it in a nutshell. You can donate over here if you feel like it. I have done because it's an excellent program. A uh, couple of dollars, five, ten dollars, not a fortune. Well worth it, as you'll see as you go along. Um, so uh, once you, uh, you click on... Um, my feed. Um, well, now we go back to my shows first of all because you'll want to select shows. So, uh, over here on the, in this menu, um, it gives you your list of um, shows. So, um, for instance, uh, uh, Bones. So, if you click on Bones, and then you can add it to your list. And when you add it to the list, it shows up here. And what happens then is, as you can see, there's a HD here beside each one of mine, and all there. And, and basically, I put all there because sometimes this is uploaded in HD and sometimes it's uploaded in SD. And the problem is, if you had set for HD and it's uploaded in SD, it won't download at all. So I just you can set it for all. Uh, you can do this simply by clicking on the cog. And uh, now I say don't include RE, the other option is include RE, now that's repack. Um, I don't bother, I just like it the way it comes down. Include any quality, now that's what the all means. But in every other, one of the other ones I pick HD because I know they all download in HD. It's just the odd one like that um, can upload in SD or HD and if you don't set it for all, uh, you might not get it. So include all uh, and then save changes. Now you do that with every show uh, until you're happy that you have all in HD and, and up and running. And then click on my feed. Now, you don't have to touch any of this, this is fine. But what you do is down here where it says your custom feed address, that's down here. Right click and copy link. And then you can close down your browser. 
you can open BitTorrent again. Now, as you can see, just here you have feeds. And what you do is right click, add RSS feed, enter it where the blue piece is here by pasting, and then um, where it says here do not automatically download, change it to automatically download. That's this one, and press OK. Now I've this done already, that's why I um, I don't actually use this this program on this computer, uh, but on the one I do, this is exactly what I do. So uh, I go through that again, after you copy your feed, right click, add RSS feed, put it in here where the blue line is, change do not to automatically, done and dust it. Um, you can close down your BitTorrent and what will happen then is it will download to that folder and I'll show you the folder here and um, give you an idea. Um, of what um, I do. So here you have your download folder. It's empty at the minute because I've all moved, but it does um, Seagate, D4, movies, and downloads. And here I have the TV. And that's where all my shows are. So what I do is open up another window and then go back to downloads and with just for argument's sake, two broke girls is here. Open it up, take the video file out of it, which is the largest file. There may be two to three files in it, but the, and just drag it over, drop it, go back and do that for each one that's here and then you can delete everything in your downloads folder and everything that you have comes up here which are seasons as you can see 720p 720p is probably the normal that you'll get uh, but mostly in 5 one surround sound so if you have a good um, show like black sales or plenty of action in it and you have a good amplifier at home with surround sound that's the way to do it so I hope you liked it um, I'll show you how to do um, Plex and integrate it with this folder in another video um, so you won't go to sleep watching this one and uh, enjoy it well worth it donate if you feel like it uh, if you don't use away at it and um, I look forward to you watching my next video